someone's house. Beautiful, beautiful house. Well, thank you guys. Have a good day. Out of nowhere, it just started to downpour. It's lightning. My phone's at 15%. I don't think it's going to charge. I don't know when the last time I talked to you guys was, but I stayed at a hotel in Bavi again, like I did the second night I got to Vietnam. And um, yeah, I woke up a little late today. It's like 8 a.m. I'm drinking coffee um, at this beautiful little coffee shop uh, down the street from my hotel. I think the plan for today is um, I'm gonna go to this place called Swanson National Park. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, it looks pretty cool. There's like waterfalls and mountains and, and places to swim. So today might be a swimming day. It's gonna take a few hours to get there. We haven't ate anything yet. Cause sometimes the food around here is um, outside of the city can get a little iffy. I'll see you guys when I'm in the mountains more. So I was driving through um, out of Bavi and now I'm going to Swanson National Park. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, I saw this really cool bridge on the side of the road I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, really pretty spot. You know, you can see some, some hills over here. Someone's house, beautiful, beautiful house, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna continue on. Um, I don't really even know where I'm going. I just put Swanson National Park in my directions. This is my new bike, by the way. I don't know if I showed you guys. I love this thing. I actually almost like killed myself a second ago because I used my front brake on this crazy, bumpy, slippery road. And um, yeah, I got really lucky. God is working very hard as I'm on this trip. It really feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? It's these roads right here are incredibly bad. And it doesn't help that there's really awesome views everywhere because you want to look away from the road and see these valleys and and rivers but you, you, you know you can only catch a little glimpse of them because you got to look at these massive potholes everywhere Let's see what this is all about i'm not so sure i actually want to see what that's all about um i thought this was a really cool scene with the uh cows um, with the foggy mountains in the back um, yeah this is another one of those towns where 15 minutes away where everybody looks at me really funny very bumpy roads but cool village So we are basically, I think we're in the national park now. All right, guys, as you can see in the background here, Swanson National Park, um, very excited. Um, we had to go through some villages, some rough terrain, some rough roads to get here. But um, yeah, I'm about to buy myself a ticket now. Um, yeah, this cool little booth right here. Wow, it's very slippery, guys. Be careful. Hello. Yep, um, I just need one ticket, please. Uh, just myself. Awesome. 100,000 dong? Yeah, sure. Yep, just give me one second. Here you go. All right, awesome. Well, thank you, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. I don't think they understood a word I just said, but I got my ticket, and um, yeah, let's do this. So the GPS just told me that my destination is on the right. Um, so yeah, I think I'm here at the National Park. I did just pass some abandoned buildings. I think they were abandoned. Um, yeah, this is, this is really, really cool though, guys. I saw a tourist bus going up here, so there has to be something up here, right? There has to be like an open building. Uh, some food would honestly be really cool. Okay guys, so I'm in the National Park. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go except to continue up the road. 
I see something over here. I can't read these signs, but it looks like it's blocked off. I'll show you guys. Um, let's see what this is all about over here. But I think what I'm going to do, guys, is climb up the staircase and see where it leads to. Um, I hope it's not someone's house. It very well could be. Um, kind of looks like this is a place to, to go. All right, guys, I think we're actually gonna check check this spot out. Um, oh. That's a cow, guys. He's looking at me. Like he is either very scared or he wants to eat me for dinner. On these paths, guys, I like to look down a lot because I'm scared of Snakes. Looks like that trail goes on for a little bit. Let's go off trail for a second because this looks kind of cool. Very quiet, guys. It's a little too quiet. I'm gonna have to, oh, there's some poop. I don't think I wanna continue too much further. It's starting to thunder. And just overall get pretty spooky. I can almost guarantee you there's animals looking at me right now that are either scared of me or wanna eat me for dinner. Look at this creepy sign. If any of you know what this means, please let me know. It means like, turn back or else. Alright guys, I'm getting a little bit tired, so I'm going to start heading back now. I really didn't have much to eat today, I had like a coffee, some potato chips and a Red Bull. So, we're going to get back to the road. Yeah, it's starting to thunder, get rainy. Yeah, my phone's on like 20%. I don't think it'll charge because there's water in the phone charger. So, um... Yeah, not super, not super thick. And I just thought to myself, what if there was a little trail that went off of this one and I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I went on that trail and just got lost in the jungle. That is a very scary thought. But I'm almost back to the road now. Just wanted to share my anxiety with you guys. There's another bus. Hello. I don't know. I'm glad. Oh, he's just taking a piss. All right, guys. Like I said in the previous video, I'm never going to drive past one of these signs again that look that has the arrows on it because it's always pointing towards something really cool. Wow, look at that. That is a duck. So now I'm in a village. Um, it said there was something over here. And, um, I'm not really sure what it was pointing to. I feel a little bit uncomfortable being in these villages sometimes. I feel like I'm intruding. Everyone looking at me, they're like, hmm, who's driving by? No one drives through here. So. Just took a little slip, guys. Guys, the ones that look good and they're all smoothly paved, are the most slippery roads ever. So slippery. Um, all right, I'm actually gonna move my motorbike down there, leave it there, and then walk up this, this uh, interesting path. So I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, I'm not so sure how far I'm willing to actually go on this trail. 
um, as it's very spooky. Very, very spooky. As you can see, there's animals making some weird sounds. There's places for animals to be hanging out. I'm pretty sure there's like cheetahs in Vietnam or something. So, yeah, maybe we'll find out. Maybe we will find out. It's really starting to downpour now. Um, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, it just started to downpour. Out of absolutely nowhere. Um, which is classic Viet Vietnam fashion. Classic jungle. Classic jungle stuff, guys. Um, so needless to say, I am goddamn soaked. Um, this is... This is crazy. Look at this, guys. This is a crazy, crazy hike. But these little coves, these little rock coves on the side of the trail are also very scary. Um, yeah, guys, I'm really not so sure where this trail leads to. It's getting a little bit too, um, too scary for me, guys. As you can see, what I mean by the cracks and crevices and coves everywhere. That just scared the shit out of me. Um, lightning, thundering. Um, All right, guys, I think I'm gonna head back. My time is uh, for adventuring is up now. Now I'm getting a little bit spooked out as I am really moving into the jungle now. Um, I'm just gonna see what's past this tree over here. Um, I feel like I've gone too far. You know, I see you at least if there's something right over this tree. Nope, just more of a trail. Oh man, turning around now, just... I don't know if I have it in me to turn around. Ow, fuck, dude. God damn it, that hurt. Fucking sharp-ass tree trunk right there. Do I have it in me, guys, to turn around? Okay, guys. I'm gonna go a little bit farther. Some more incredibly spooky cave for the animals ready to pop out at any second I'm sure. What's gonna be just as terrifying as going up here is is going down. Which is why I almost don't mind traveling a little bit more up here. I'm also completely soaked. There was a sign saying there's something this way, there's something this way. And uh, I don't know if it's just this little hiking trail or, or what. Really cool trail, guys. Um, really cool trail. Really terrifying. So it looks like it continues this way, guys. Um, but because it's not a clear path, and it's ferns, I'm not bold enough to actually continue. Um, if I can't see what's under my feet, I will not walk it. That's kind of my motto for, for being in the jungle on this trip. Because even, even what I can see, I can't really see very well. Because 
It's the jungle, dude. I mean, these things live for camouflage. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear the, the thunder. Um, but yeah, this is incredibly incredible and scary. Terrifying almost. Um, the fact that I am still alive be honest is quite amazing i mean look there's there's a tunnel there's a little cave system in that that rock you know what i mean oh, shit falling over and stuff very slippery guys this trail is literally a river i am absolutely soaked though absolutely soaked um My phone's at like 15%. I don't think it's gonna charge because the charging port is soaked. Um, so yeah, spooky situation, guys. But I am close to a village, so I should be all right. I think. Next on my list is to sit down and eat some pho and uh, dry off. Honestly, taking a shower would be pretty awesome. Um,